Fly Stoker, then I went to Hawk, I mean Ultimate Warrior. And I basically kind of tapped out after the end, but like when I pay attention to it, I like the rock. They said, um, I got this DVD called The Rise and Fall of WCW, 
and it makes the whole like wrestling era. They just say the Ultimate Warrior was the worst person to work with. I heard that too. Yeah, they say he was the worst too. to work with. But Miles was I always liked the Ric Flair because he'd be like shitting on niggas. He like high sight. I mean, high sight. You go back and you listen to some Ric Flair interviews. He a rapper. Huh. He's used to stunt. <laughs> stunt like a motherfucker. Limousine riding. Woo! Play riding. Rolex wearing. Woo! And they can stop shit. Hey, that motherfucker, they brought me that, uh, that little intro they had on that. Um, that it was the mixtape Pusha T had on that. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Rick Flair was stunting so hard on them motherfuckers, man. That shit ain't make no motherfucking sense. But Rick Flair, Mike Skills is incredible. Yeah. His Mike Skills. The only person who has some Mike Skills like his was uh, The Rock. Yeah. The Rock was the only the Rock get on there and talk that shit. Nigga, he used to be crazy as hell. Maybe I, John Cena now. I watch John it with my Cena. daughter every now and then. She likes John it. John Cena's corny as fuck, man. My son used to love that motherfucker. Yeah, He's I you can't remember shit. uh Tony Yayo was doing that shit in the uh G Unit videos? Nah, hell no. I come out vaguely do. Yeah, he used to walk do. through doing that shit. I like oh, I can't get it. I, I can't I can't imagine a grown man doing the John Cena. Nah, I mean, I'm about to say I can't imagine too. watching that shit now. That's what I was gonna say. Like, I can't, I can't get into that. Sometimes shit. Sometimes Rasta's my best babysitter on Monday night to his bedtime. <laughs> Who your daughter favorite wrestler? John Cena. She got a backpack and everything. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, we sent that shit right back to her mom. I don't think Destiny has ever seen that shit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who bought the backpack? Her mama. You better stop. You better nip this shit to <laughs> Yeah. Because she already got a white man. You got <laughs> and and the fucking hero worship going over there, white uh, man. He got to go kick the door yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nigga. You better watch that Break. motherfucking pattern, nigga. Yeah, boy. That's a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> That's a motherfucking pattern, though. But, um, it's a fantastic week, man. It's one combat sport to another. We ain't get to talk about, uh, I said we ain't get talk about like we been here all like day. Like we been here all day. <laughs> First off, before I get to that, man, what the fuck been going on with you this week? Shit, nothing. Just um, helping um, my girl out of school. They short staff, and so they hired her as an English teacher, and they ain't got no math or science teacher, so she been had to teach math, science, and English. She trying to get in history books. I don't know what. Like, like, now they just threw it on her like, "Hey, we gonna hire her as this." And ah, well, since she here, God take this with you. But teachers be like, one teacher quit Friday, three teachers quit yesterday, and somebody put me quit in that. Like, they just quit like willy nilly, just that same day. Just, Fuck this just shit. Tap, yeah, just tapping out like shit. Like this ain't what you hired me for. Like I'm gonna go to a regular school system because it's a charter school. How much? I wonder how much. I, don't, I wonder how much they make over there, Timley. Probably. Uh, I mean, Probably like 35, starting out 35, 36. What's the benefits to that? To dealing with these fucked up Like I told them, they said, they said, you can come teach our math class. Like the students that listen, I said, I really do volunteer work. I said, nah, I said, look, you know how you tell somebody no and they keep asking, so you say something outlandish, so you don't ask. Nah, bitch, I kill you. I was like, <laughs> I said, my bottom is 50,000. Oh, you know, nigga, well, I'd rather get these motherfucking flashcards. Yeah, <laughs> they never <laughs> asked again. Yeah. They like, oh, we thank you for your volunteer work. I was like, okay. That's you mean cool. like volunteer? Like, what you do? You got caught cheating and shit. Nah, I just go help out. And I mean, cause she pays me to help out. Your, your girl? Yeah. You charge her? Yeah. You charge your girl? Anytime I use my brain for adding and subtracting taxes, tutoring, everything, you're paying. Man, for that's my not services. your girlfriend. You were paying. Whatever. You were paying. She listen to this shit. Okay, no. that's cool. Cause you wouldn't be saying this shit if she did. I mean, I, she she asked what we talk about. I tell she, her. Who you, who I tell her all my hoes. And the tourists over there talking crazy about women. Yeah, that nigga, <laughs> he that, throw me under the bus. No, I said yeah, that nigga. That he hard on hoes. I'm <laughs> not. I love these bitches. <laughs> hey, look, bro. Look, I'm telling you some shit. I'll tell you some funny shit, man. I should call this nigga, man, my homeboy. I don't even really want to say his name. I'm trying to get him to come up here. His name, man. Listen. So you call about why he here? Listen. Oh, he gonna call himself out. He he told me he gonna come up here and kick it, man. Listen, when I say high level sucker, I'm talking about nigga that don't belong around no pussy. The way uh, Tony was talking to uh, Goldie, he said you ain't nothing but a rest saver for hoes. You know, yeah, you know what? That bad. If he if if Tony seen this nigga, Tony would just shoot this nigga. He would just shoot this nigga. That nigga. bad. Shout out my nigga Paul. I'm Damn, gonna, I ain't gonna call. Shout out my nigga. Why no secrets? That's what we need to look. Yeah, yeah. Drop yeah. with a clue bob or something. <laughs> hey, yeah, I used, to have, I used to have a bomb. But uh, we can hear the listen skill. Um, I met this nigga, man. Very, like, we was working at the same place last year. And 
they pair you up with people and shit to uh, train you, I guess. I meet this nigga. Um, the very first time I seen him, the nigga smelled like liquor. Uh, at work? work for, nigga, it was like six, six, seven in the morning. Damn. Well, you know, long night. Community spirits open at five, six in the morning. It sound, it smelled like uh, eight o'clock in the evening or uh, the evening. Then go home bath. He just yeah, nigga, like it's stumbled like, in. Like, yeah. like I fell into a <laughs> distillery. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But no, nah, he, he, he cool. That's why we. I'm talking about that nigga. Said, "What's your name?" I said, "My name." He said, "Man, my wife be tripping." That's I, the first thing that nigga friend. said. Huh? He needed a friend. That or a noose. Yeah, I <laughs> he tried to kill us up. Oh, I kicked the chair for him. You, you and Dr. Kevorkian. Kick that chair. Hey, stand up here. Huh, that, that rope ain't long enough. That rope too long. Let me shorten it a little bit some, for some, you. Some good old-fashioned euthanasia. Damn. But no, I was, um, uh, that's what he said to me. Like, my wife be tripping. And so I'm like, yo, why? He's like, yeah. And I'm uncomfortable and shit because I don't know if this is a one side story, nigga. Like, you up here, <laughs> your opinion. It's 6 30 in the morning. You smell your liquor. Does he have a right to trip? Yeah. You know what I'm Did you go home last night, nigga? Yeah. But look, though, I can't I can't wait for Paul to come up here, man. Paul's the most incredible nigga I know as far as the shit he used to say. I'm telling you, man, he like he like what happens when love becomes a drug. Uh-huh. When you, I, I told him, man, we, we was talking, and like, I figured, you telling me this, I feel like I'm authorized to diagnose your sickness right here and now, and you can't say, I said, man, you love her too much. I said, you love her too much, and I said, you should never love no woman more than she love you. That's just stupid, and he was head over heels three times. Ah, uh, yes, like, so she like, was. Like, like, Paul, man, that nigga had, he got a daughter, and I've never heard him. The only way he talked about it, because I mentioned it. Damn. But look, and she, I think he said she's like 11. And I'm like, damn, like, I always be shocked when niggas don't fuck with their kids. Yeah. So I'm asking him about his daughter and shit. He telling me about this bitch. And I'm confused. I'm like, I'm trying to talk about your daughter. Yeah. And let's break the ice a little bit. So you want one of these warm? Nah, oh, I no. Right yeah, up. I don't do room temperature water. Somebody said I should drink it because it's better for you. I ain't heard that shit. I just didn't have this in the refrigerator. It was just convenient right now. Nah. But, um. We talking and shit, and he just talking about she be doing any bad luck. She a few years. Paul, young nigga, man. Relatively young compared to an old head like me. He 31, 32. But his face say everything. enough to know better. His face say everything civil rights. Stress taking young man. Give him he, he a look, face. That nigga look like he was running around with Mary Eggers and shit. <laughs> but I'm talking to him, man, and he over here telling me all these fucking sad ass stories. I'm not used to men having these sad stories. Like, I don't. Yeah. Like, women don't know, men don't talk like women do. Like, we don't sit around and talk about our feelings. Nah, we don't. We don't sit around and talk about who hurt, she hurt me. I can't believe she staggered in the house. We ain't, no taking, pennies we ain't taking a bitch trip to get our groove back. <laughs> Go to Jamaica, get our groove back. Right, right, right. And that's what he was on. He thought we were going to fucking communicate and hug it out. But that nigga told me, uh, <laughs> what this thing? I'm losing my motherfucking train of thought, man. I know she used to dog the fuck out. He told me she had daughters, she older. Mm-hmm. She had daughters that was like, if she like 40, like in her early 40s. She got 20 year old, at least. A couple. Mm-hmm. And a son. And he, I'm, he locked up. Jody. Anyway, this nigga told me with a straight face, hey, cuz, she had her kids jump on me. I said, her son? She said, no, nah, he locked up. It was the girls. And he slapped him? Oh, he got beat up. He took the punches. He got. He loved her that much. He let her daughters beat her up. And I said, man, I gotta get, get this Paul. dick up here. And I ain't front on Paul. Mm-hmm. I ain't front on Paul. Paul, when Paul, I'm gonna get Paul to come in here. He said he wanna hang out Saturday. I then they wanna record him mm-hmm. an episode Saturday and just play it Tuesday. Yeah. I kind of wanna do that shit. I gonna or have a uh, a special edition of Paul show. The Paul's a cool motherfucker. When he come here, he'll be saying some goofy shit. This nigga sent me a cryptic text. He sent me a text today. I'm gonna tell you what this motherfucker text. <laughs> it was cryptic as fuck, man. Mm-hmm. This nigga told me I'm gonna try to pull this motherfucker up. It, it fucked me up. He said, uh. Yeah, Dakota Rain, uh. Read it. <laughs> this nigga said, uh. Hold up. Never let a woman break you, cuz. <laughs> he texted me. Never let. It's 10, it's 10 or 3 in the morning. And he was concerned about me and my heart. And, and, and I read it, man, and I, I, I you Did know, he text him back? Did yeah. he text him back? Make sure he kill himself? I said, man, I don't love these hoes. 
And it wasn't really me trying, I, I wasn't really trying to stunt. But mm -hmm. I just want to let this nigga, nigga, don't ever send me no advice. <laughs> nigga, don't ever offer me no motherfucking unsolicited advice. I'm never going to die like you. I'm not going to die from a massive heart attack from stressing over a bitch. That's not about. That's not. That's not what the most high put me here for. The dog was pussy. <laughs> the most high did not put me on earth to dog for a bitch stressed out. I can't Boy. identify with it. So we both got some crazy texts. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Today. Yeah. Yeah. But I ain't. It ain't no disrespect, niggas who love their girl. Cause yeah, you're supposed, yeah. To. You're supposed to. But you ain't supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking thrust your like when you around. He tell man this nigga told me shout. Paul, I need to send you this show when we're done. This nigga said. We need to hang out this weekend. I got a rental. We can go do whatever. And I'm like, he got a rental. Yeah, I don't like how that sounded. Like a oh, rental car. Or yes. Like Listen, I don't like how it sounds. I'm gonna tell you what else he said. That's bad. <laughs> we talking and shit. He called me. Was we on the phone? Was we on the fucking phone? We had to be on the phone, but uh, for some reason I don't remember hearing this nigga's voice today. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go back to these texts and shit. Cause he down. He out there working hard down there. Uh, in uh, Kentucky, shout out to him. Ah, he do okay. little, That's what's up, the though. little road work where you go to the switch on and shit. He down mm -hmm. there, he do that shit. He said we should go hang out this weekend. I'm like, all right, you know, when you know you ain't gonna hang out, and then you say, all right, anyway. all right, I got you. Yeah, like, hit right. me up. So I'm like, all right. So then this nigga like, uh, yeah, man, we about to get off the phone. He like, and I, look, I only answered the phone because this nigga owe me twenty five dollars. <laughs> that's why I answered the that, phone. He wasn't even that's the conversation. We bet on the we bet on the fucking fight. He bet McGregor. We, we get, yes, the nigga's an idiot. Listen, we're gonna talk about that a little bit. The fight itself. Yeah. But this motherfucker was like, I don't even want to answer like I said though, because he owe me a little bit of money. I need that. I'm struggling. So I'm like, I need that. So he called me he talking and shit. Then this nigga like, uh, he when he mentioned the um, I got a rental. Da -da -da -da. Then this nigga said, yeah, because I need to get up, man. Don't forget about me. I was thinking about, you know what I'm saying, going to the drive-in or something. <laughs> <laughs> nigga with who? Yeah. Nigga with who? <laughs> so I'm like, now, now. Did he say pause after now, it? No. <laughs> now I'm feeling like this nigga trying to fuck me. Now I feel like he's trying to fuck me. Because I'm like, nigga, you, he, no, I got a rental. I got a rental. You know, we should get together this weekend. So like he hide it from his wife. Okay, can't leave no evidence in a real car. <laughs> you gotta get a rental. I mean, this is a movie. setup, yeah. motherfucker. So, you know, so I'm like, I'm, I'm shocked and I'm might disturbed. Be, might be planning to assassinate you because he didn't want to pay that 25. Like, I'm kill this dick. I'd rather he kill me <laughs> than try to fuck me. I'd rather <laughs> die than he try to <laughs> say some silly shit. I like your shoes. Yeah, nigga, what's wrong? But, you know, I've never been off for the date, nigga. I've Did never this? thought about going to the drive-in with a nigga. Well, we should go hang out at the drive-in. Yeah. Like, like that's that's some cool shit to say to a bitch when you don't know exactly how the game. Or what you doing today? Nah, we should go hang out the drive in, which yeah, really means, yeah, like which we really means it's dark and I should try to figure you could kind of by seeing if it's dark enough. We sit in the back, you can ride this thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I really don't know how to take part right now. Period. Get laid over it. Uh, yeah, top me off. Yeah, uh, unless you like, then we can go ahead and get it all the way in. Ah, right, nah, I'm pass on that. Nigga, you don't run red lights. Nope, never, never. How come? Never. I just don't. Wow. I don't know. I just be feeling it. I feel what you got, I, what you, I don't know, man. What they say, uh, wet pussy, dry pussy, red <laughs> pussy. <laughs> it's still pussy. <laughs> no, I, I didn't hear that version of, uh. Oh, I said, oh, this is the shit that come on uncut. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, you, you, you run red lights with your bitch. Like, bitch, you, you fuck with, fuck with. Man, you ain't gonna tell me you ain't never hit no bitch on her period. I never ever hit a bitch on her period. Am I missing something? No. Nah. Right, cause niggas, you, you know, you, you, know, you know, you know, somebody say, oh, you ain't never, they like, oh, you don't know what you missing. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna exaggerate no goofy shit. Oh, you okay. Know, you yeah. just don't know what, it be yeah. pushy and yeah. period stink. I'm yeah. gonna be honest with it you. It does, that's why I can't. You know what period blood smell like? Fish. Metal. I don't know who you fucking. I don't know, shit just Oh, it's me. like metal, nigga. And I, it just smell like metal. It's, it smell like fillings. Like the like fillings in your teeth. teeth. <laughs> that's, what, that's what period pussy smell like. But it ain't no shit you plan on doing. Like if a bitch say, hey, I'm on my period, you just don't go over there. Yeah, or you, you just don't, don't go with intentions to fuck. But if you just there and shit and y'all get the fuck around or she just come on or you just get that horny, you just dive in. Dive in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say a quick prayer. You know what I'm saying? Please don't let the blood kill me. Amen. <laughs> you just get to doing what the fuck you do, man. I, I ran a few red lights. In my older age, though, I'm not into it like I used to. Like, 
some things just don't appeal to me. I don't be that horny no more and shit to where yeah, I can't I, wait a few I can days. Wait. Yeah, I can wait. I can't, I ain't, I ain't that young. Is your mouth bleeding? Nah, it's just your foot. Okay, guys. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hit her in the ass. You don't fuck bitches in the ass? Nope. Man, you fuck like a teenager. Like a teenager? You fuck like a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you ain't never. I guess I'm missing out, huh? Yeah, you missing out on that one. I ain't gonna say it, but you can sell it. On this one right here, listen, nigga, for one, it's, it's like, uh, it's something different. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And the, the excitement of something different, that's what makes it fun. But it's like, the motherfucker tight. Like, oh. On a normal bitch. Oh, the normal on a normal bitch. bitch. <laughs> on a normal <laughs> bitch. And I'm telling you, man, they, they sell you bullshit at, uh, at like, them you know, sex stores and shit like, like that. Lube. And shit. Like yeah. lube. Uh huh. The lube is for some that's 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 commerce. They just trying to make money. They got this shit that the synthesizer, your dick, your dick be all numb and shit. You be trying to pretend you can feel it's like fuck with a condom. Oh. You can't feel that shit. The best thing to do is saliva <laughs> and pussy yeah, juice. Spit the pussy juice. Saliva and, and pussy that's the best way to hit a bitch in the ass with normal, you know what I'm saying? Team natural. Mm -hmm. Organic. Team Dasher. This, 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 this is an organic ass fuck. <laughs> <laughs> straight but, um, from straight from the earth. Straight up, man. But it it, it, it gotta be with a chick who cool. Like yeah. who, who don't be on that. Ah like she bitch, I'm not shooting you. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like bitch be you strong, you've had babies, remember? You strong, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget your strength. Yeah. But, uh, man up. Woman up. It's, yeah, you don't say man up. No, take never, it man up. Never, no, never, woman, never, woman, say, woman up. never say take it like a man. Take it like a man. Don't ever say that shit. <laughs> don't ever say that shit. Uh, but, but, I don't know, man. I'm a motherfucker. Uh, I'm a nasty motherfucker. Yeah. I'm a nasty Like I have fun with sex. I try to make that shit as gross. I, I like to do shit to where... After we done, the bitch is ashamed and she wonder at six minutes, six thirty. Like yeah, she, she, she wonder how I feel about her at the end. Like she wonder uh -huh. if I'm judging her in my head. You know what I'm saying? Which I am. Yeah, we but, but, judge. but it's a great judgment. Like if I say you a nasty bitch, that's good. That's like I'm saying that from my heart. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like the pimp that slip back when you talk to bitches. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it ain't, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing like a nasty bitch, man. A nasty bitch is the the hardest bitch to get rid of. Cause like you, I'm done with this bitch, and then you be laying. Then she swallow. You like, ah, right, yeah, you can stay around. I'm gonna tell you how powerful it is. What? You be laying in bed thinking about when she did swallow. Like it's not even in that instance. I'm talking about uh -huh. like, man, last week, man, that bitch, she was gagging and she didn't stop. Like she kept going. Like yeah. she was gagging. I thought the bitch was gonna die, but she was willing to die for my pleasure. Uh, that's what's so that. Is. I like that bitch yeah. a lot. I'm gonna call her. I like I'm her a lot. We're gonna rate and say <laughs> yeah. our differences. Yeah. But um, yeah, man, you need to step your game up. I I ain't critiquing you, but man, I'm telling you, you see, you can't do it now though. You go home, your girl with that goofy shit. She like, oh, you been fucking? <laughs> oh, you where you get this trick from? You know what I'm saying? Porno, poor hub. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching poor hub, baby. I try to get you right. Bend over, take uh, this dick. <laughs> hey, but straight up though. I ain't, I, you know, I used to watch a lot of porn, man. I just went on a porn sabbatical. Did you? I just went on a porn sabbatical, man. I, I told myself last Sunday, I said, man, I said, I'm going to see if uh, I can go out and watch a porn for a week. Did I, you make I, it? Yeah, I ain't want Seven days without porn makes one week. W-E-A-K. <laughs> 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 uh, on, on everything. Like, I ain't watched porn in a week, man, and, and it's cool because... Have you watched a rap video? I don't watch videos. Ah, okay. So yeah, you said no type of porn. Hell yeah, no. Like, I'm going to tell you, man, I, I was watching porn at so, such a fucking high rate, man. Like, I think it was like fucking me up mentally. Was it one of your favorites? Like, where you get on your email? You know, like. I got the Pornhub app. Ah, yeah, you was on the record. I got a, I, it's a website called Tasty Blacks. And it's incredible. It has all the porn category. It's just black bitches. All black bitches? All black bitches. So you don't watch a different race or nothing? I can't. I, I, my dick can't get hard. Uh, my dick can't get hard for nothing but black bitches. Have you ever hit, hit a bitch outside your race? One time in high school. And I still feel like I'm paying for that. I ain't never. Done. I feel like I was responsible for these hurricanes that's going on before what I did in high school. <laughs> I feel like they paying for my scenes. So your scenes. I ain't like, I ain't attracted to like... 
I tried to uh get a white yeah, man. I don't college. like Asians, I don't like Mexicans, I don't like none of that shit. Not even Hispanic Latinos or nothing? They white girls. They white girls to you. Like J Lo a white bitch to me, she ain't white to you. She's Hispanic to me. She speaks so you like, she speaks Spanish. You like uh she Chris Rock. Oh, I got time to be uh dissecting these crackers. Uh, they all cracker ass crackers, German crackers. <laughs> Shout girl, out to Chris man. Rock. She a white girl. I mean, it's it's it's, it's black or dark skin uh, Spanish people. But he's a Hispanic nigga. That just mean a motherfucker got conquered by the Spaniards. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's they inherit their language and shit. Like they got so Jamaican. They black to you. They Jamaican? Niggas, yeah, they niggas. Well, you're Patra. <laughs> the bitch is crispy. You say both? Yeah, they niggas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, speaker, he got a bad motherfucker. You saying? Yeah. Why wouldn't he? The nigga the fastest nigga in the world. If you can say you the anything in the world, you should have a bad bitch. I'm the Man. tallest thing in the world. I got a bad bitch. I'm the tallest bitch. I'm the fattest thing in the world. I, yeah, I'm a, I got a bad bitch. I got the blinkiest earrings. I got a bad If you Man, the best of anything, so you should have a bad cold. bitch. Boy. Would you hit her in the ass? Would you hit her if she's on her period? Nope. You Would you hit Beyonce if she's on her period? Nope. Yes, you would. See, yes, you when it came to Destiny's Child, I always thought Beyonce okay. had the best body. Kelly. But Kelly was always Kelly looked was it better. If Kelly was sitting around here with that motherfucker, she said, I'm just spotting. He just pulled this uh, tampon out of me. Like, she ain't in on pad. She nope. just got the tampon and just stopping the drip. I, I'll be straight turned off. Like, that's not, I won't. See, you ain't, see, you got to open your mind. Nah, I'm bullshit. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm start talking to you like it's <laughs> yeah, deep. Damn, Dr. Phil. I'm going to talking to you like it's <laughs> deep, nigga. You got to be, you got to be more open-minded to these sluts and they blood. I'm going to call you somebody I don't even like when you talk to me like this. <laughs> Steve Harvey ass dick. Nah. Steve Harvey ain't going on you. Matter of fact, if you actually on Steve Harvey right now. You go to I'm going to buy Steve. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, I'm fucking these bitches on their <laughs> hit the ass first night. Uh, period. I don't even give a fuck. Oh, I'm, running, I'm running red lights. Traffic jails, just just to say fuck Steve Harvey. I ain't like him. Two real Tuesday coming out soon. Look forward. But uh, I'm off that. I'm off that gross shit right now. How much yeah. time we got? Man, we got. We gonna hit a quick song. We got a minute. Quick. I mean, we're gonna go into this song real quick, man. Before we come back, uh, got we are our own can our own cameramans and shit. <laughs> we got to do what the fuck we got to do. We be right back. With some uh, clean conversation, we're gonna be talking about this uh, illicit shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you ready? Yeah. Mike, 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 check. I'm, I'm checking the microphone. Hey. I went, we went on that little quick break and I thought I was playing this fucking music, man. The shit was on mute. Uh, I had, I'm sorry for the little delay, that pause. I thought I left y'all with some sort of entertainment. Um, like I said, we're our own engineers and everything over here. Produce, we produced the whole show. We like, it's ready to produce. Yeah. Starring, <laughs> edited. Man. We are here doing it all, but it's cool. Um, we just thank y'all for listening. Yeah, hell yeah. Catch us every Tuesday. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Go well, ahead with that motherfucker commercial. I know. Shout out to Corey people, man. You got some new people in here checking us out, man. Shout out to y'all for listening. Shout, Shout out, out to Nigel. You know what I'm saying? Local. Shout out to Keith down to Texas. Tay Drop, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's family. Looking out for everybody down there. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Keep listening. Spread the word. Much yeah. appreciated. And shout out to uh, everybody who else be fucking with us consistently, man. I'll be having people that I got to... Um, I got a, hey, shout out to Nigel, man. He's wondering where the music was at. Man. Uh, <laughs> I'm this shit all fucked up. We got people consistent listening to. It's a two-man show for real. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, but we're going to talk about some recaps, man, uh, and then some current events. We're going to first talk about that Mayweather fight, man. I want to ask you first, what did you think about it? I, don't know, I thought Mayweather did what he was going to do. First of all, side note. He knew he was going to knock his ass out in the 10th round. He went and tried to bet 400000 I that, just heard Because the over and under was 9.5. I just heard And he knew shit. it because he was like, shit, he's going to tire out. Then I'm just going to start two-piecing with a biscuit. Then yeah. take this family pack. So he, like, I knew it wasn't going to go the distance. Like, yeah. I was like, McGregor's going to tire out. But uh, shout out to uh, whoever that was on YouTube that live streamed it. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember. Not going to give you away. But appreciate that because, you know, save me a hundred dollars that I wasn't going to pay or nothing. But, yeah, I uh, thought he did what he's supposed to do. I, um, 
I'm a diehard boxing fan. I ain't everybody don't know I got a boxing podcast on Thursday. I know. Uh, I'm a diehard, and it's 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 tremendously hard for me to watch fights with casual fans. Yeah. Well, I can't like people think like now after this fight boxing season over. Yeah. I can't watch fights with them. So you still um, got Triple G, got Andre Ward. I mean, there's some good fights coming him, up. Him. Andre Ward ain't fighting no more this year. That's true. He, yeah, fought, he, he just fought. Yeah, just fought. That yeah. Triple G and Canelo gonna be Canelo. a hell of a fight. Oh, that's gonna be a good ass fight. Hell of a fight. But that Mayweather shit, man. I ain't wanna watch it with no. Like I was gonna go somewhere and watch it. It was actually at a boxing gym, but it's just be so many people. Like I gotta watch that shit. Yeah. So I, I think I, at the very last minute, I went and got that motherfucker and said, "Crib, watch this shit." Did you? Yeah. I done came over and watched it. I should have hit you. Yeah. Pause. Pause. You yeah. should have called me. I should have called you. Yeah. <laughs> but look, I, I watched it, man, and I'm going to tell you, the fight, I knew Floyd was going to stop him, but I thought he was going to do it more aggressive. I'm more aggressive. But what He what did happened, come forward more. He came forward. Yeah, he came forward more in this fight, then. You like, know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you, Conor McGregor was a fucking giant. He probably weighed like 175, 25 more pounds than Floyd. Yeah. And it's just crazy how Floyd backed him up, and it's awkward. It's that size of awkwardness gave Floyd a little bit of uh, problems or whatever yeah, and shit. But, but you know, McGregor, before he went to UFC, he was a boxer before he started UFC. Like, man, that motherfucker probably boxed for two weeks. He, uh, he didn't give no indication that he was a fucking boxer and shit, man. But, uh... And then a lot of people think you're supposed to just fight. Like, they like, oh, Floyd be running, Floyd be running, he don't be taking no punch. Nigga, the, the object is to not get hit. People don't... Like, that's it's what, boxing. That's, that's it's what not. I, it's not a fight. That's what I was talking about. This I'm ain't Kimbo in the backyard when he dot the nigga out. Of. Like it's a boxing match. Like you know, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. offense and defense. Hell yeah! Shout out to Marius, man. He hit me up and told me to stop playing, but every time he tell me that, it's still playing. Uh -huh. I do a quick check, real quick. Shout out to Marius. Uh -huh. But um, like I enjoyed the fight, man. It was a little bit more entertaining than I thought. Uh, he gave Floyd a lot of different angles, and he, his awkwardness let him survive. Yeah. When Floyd got him teeing off on him, man, that was so beautiful, man. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was a good event, man. They they got some money. I mean, they got back off they that. They say off Conor off. McGregor probably going to get a little over 100, and Floyd will get by 300, by 376, that's some shit. I couldn't imagine. Yeah. They I sell 80 imagine. million pay-per-views at $100 a month. How many? 80 million. No, they didn't. That's what they was trying to say on ESPN. So yeah. how many was it? They said the most ever been sold was four million. Pay per view. Yeah. Like that's eighty. Well, eighty million people watched the fight. Right? That's what <laughs> yeah, they said. Yeah, probably generate eighty million yeah, revenue. Yeah, eighty million revenue. Yeah, yeah. But shit, and Floyd taking hold what sixty seventy percent of that. I don't know how that split go. Yeah, I don't know how that split go because I know they got to pay the network. Got to pay the network. Showtime got to get his money. Then UFC had to cut in there. Yeah, got to really cut. The thing is, man, the motherfucker, they say he done made a billion dollars fighting. Like, not in one fight, but over the course of his career. And they really say he the made, like, almost 600 the last three fights. 600 million in revenue in the last three That's fights. That's amazing, man. man. To, like, to fight. 36, to fight. 72, <laughs> at 100. I like to think about something super smart and intelligent yeah. and shit. At 108 and minutes, listen, he made $600 million. I can't figure out how to make... That's how come I tell motherfuckers when they be like, uh, ooh, you, uh, you make $18, $20. You make that out, that's some good money. I'm thinking, no, the fuck it ain't. I'm makes, worth way more than this. He made $600 million in 108 minutes. Right? If you was hiring yourself for a job, nigga, what was your pay? Like, if you, they say, what are you not considering their pay scale? They're like, uh -huh. how much you think you worth an hour? If I say what the fuck I really meant. I'll I'm be like, like look, dog, look. remember we went on a job interview? I need what? Make it cash. Yeah, <laughs> just to, to talk to just you. To talk to you. <laughs> just to talk to you. So I can only imagine how it is to do something you love and make that much money like you love fighting and you've never been beat. In your whole life. Since since the Olympics, nigga, 1996. Yeah. You've yeah. never lost since then. And here you are. And then the audacity of the niggas to call you stupid. Yeah. Niggas will tell you you can't read. You stupid. Like you said, it's like a count, but you posting them checks. Yeah. I can't read, but and I can count. Niggas can read. I mean, yeah, which, I don't want to be no Floyd apologist and shit, but niggas are ignorant and they just sit and wait. Like, it, was, it shocked me that there's a lot of niggas who was going against Floyd. Yeah. I, like, I'm was, like, that's like the epitome of self hate, like deep rooted self hate. And they will say some shit like, you talk, you talk I, too much. I follow gambling and sports books a lot in Vegas. It was more bets on McGregor. Uh, but but it was more money on, on Floyd. I can understand the yeah. more best, though, because 
Shit, you stand to make more money. He stand to make, yeah, that's yeah, what it was. He, he had to bet so much money to even make money yeah. betting on Floyd. You bet six hundred dollars and get like forty in retirement. Yeah, yeah, get that six forty. Yeah, yeah. Like man, well, I could did that on power on uh, scratch offs. Yeah, some scratch offs. But a lot of people jumped on it when it was like eleven hundred and one yeah. McGregor, and it, it turned it uh changed the uh the bar. But the over and under is always nine and a half. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Over and under. No, I don't over and under, but it's not uh, like the. Okay, it's kind of like um the spread, like like a football game. Yeah. So if the spread is like, say the Patriots playing the Colts, and the spread is they giving the Colts fourteen points, and everybody just go start betting on the Colts, betting on the Colts. What's well, gonna move the spread to maybe seven or eight? So, but the people that bet on the fourteen points still get their fourteen points, but now the new people that bet on the coast, oh, so it's, it's only get a, shit. yeah, it's a whole like it, it'll move the spread like that. You be betting, you gamble. Mm-hmm. What you gamble on? I be uh, playing on parlay cards, or if I go to the casino, I shoot dice. Where you be going? I don't like that. I don't, I don't, here, no, I don't, I don't go to lecture. I go, if I go, I go to always Cincinnati. Okay, to, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I need you real tables, real there. dice. Yep. Yeah. I, um, you know, so, or every time I go back home to New Orleans, I go to uh, Harris. Shout out to Harris. I, when I, when I, back to that Floyd shit, I don't yeah. like people saying shit like, I don't like because he beat women. That's what the fuck white boys are saying on every post. Like, ESPN like, is good at <laughs> downing every black athlete. Like, yeah, they're they like, man, in this don't instance, you talk about the stuff? In this instance, it ain't like you can pull there the whole car. You just gotta say he beat people he up. He beat people, yeah. <laughs> you know he don't just beat up women. He you beat know, up everybody. He beat people up. You guys, yeah. I don't like. He just be beating people up. Yeah. He punched a dog last week. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just the same way with the uh, the running back nigga from Dallas. Oh, he beat us. Shout out to Zeke, man. I drafted yeah. Zeke second in my fucking uh, fantasy. He draft. had a hearing today. His yeah, opinion. I hope they at least they can re- re- reduce that shit to two games. Man, yeah. that shit's crazy. But yeah, hey, that, like I said, how Floyd's a woman beater. Floyd, even Dan Host on ESPN, oh, he's a woman beater. He's a woman beater. Like they care about that bitch. Yeah, like well, they don't even know who she is. Yeah, like, like, why are y'all acting like y'all choosing and picking and choosing? And like like you said, the, the other show, everybody want to just ride a cause. So everybody want to be part yeah, of it. That's personal. Yeah. They just don't want to see a nigga stunt like he do. But, um, fuck what I going to say. Uh, just, it was a good fight, man. It I, was. I wish I could afford to be there. Like, niggas playing in fucking what, a lot 15, of 15 stacks for uh, cheap seats. Was it that high? I thought they had uh, lowered the price because they didn't sell out off the top. <clears throat> I just try to get comp. Yeah. I just try to get comp. But then I couldn't. They were paying shit a million for floor seats. I wish I could afford that shit. Boy. I wish I could afford it. Nigga, they told us too much. Now, I said, they, they got it. And I'm up because I got it. Shit. Hell, like Matthew Stafford just got the highest paid NFL player in history. If we talking talent. And the stats and shit, he don't like, he ain't deserve that money. Hell nah. He ain't deserve that, but if you can break the bank, I'll always Hell yeah, I'm, I'm always, a, yeah. If they can give you $27 million a year and I ain't never won a playoff game. We're overcharging them for what they did to, to the, the cold, cold crush. crush. Yeah, what Jay said. <laughs> Shout out to Jay. Oh, shit. We need him to come to here for his final uh, tour for the 444 tour. I got to talk to Jay-Z about why he called his mama out like that. He, she didn't tell him to put that shit in the song. He said she was mad. But she didn't stop him either. She was on the Black Album and she was talking. So, hey, it had to be. She was on this yeah. shit. She was on this ass poem. Yeah, at the, at the end of the song. Yeah, hell yeah. About being in the closet, coming out some shit. Love shit sound, though. Once she started talking, I go to the next song. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> the end of you want to skip the first verse. Yeah. I'm gonna have four kids to see the lesbian. Then, 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 then. And then I ain't gonna lie, like, I uh, fast forward through Blue Ivy Freestyle, too. I get right into uh, I like this shit. I like that shit, so me and Blue, we cool on that one. But um, transition to something more pressing, man. Something that's dominating the airways, uh, rightfully so. Harvey. I wonder, this I don't understand, man. Didn't they used to call these things girls? Well, every other one. It's a man and a girl. Man and a girl, and it go by the alphabet. So next one would be I, so it may be like Irene. Hurricane. Yeah, Irene. 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 Yeah. That's the only woman named what I am. Uh, Aisha. No, no. man, that's some hood red shit. That that mean Katrina. Put, if, if, Katrina was hood. It was, it was, it was up was Yeah. But if they have uh, Aisha, they gonna Aisha. put that motherfucking Gary. Gary, yeah. And that <laughs> hurricane gonna come off of Lake Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah. Um, all jokes aside, man, they fucked up down there. 
Man, they are. They fucked up. What, like I, said, um, I was just texting my people, making sure they was cool. Like, you know, they said they all right. They pretty much dry where they at because they're on the north side of Houston. So they just got the rain. And they ain't, you know. I don't understand how you get fucked up in a hurricane. Because it ain't like that shit. Just, you blink and it's a hurricane there. It's yeah, like that. They knew it was coming. They tell you to the dance, nigga, they get out. They saying they supposed to get like 15, 20 inches of rain a day for like four or five days straight. God judge it, damn. <laughs> they under judgment, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's almost them motherfuckers should have built. Soon as they seen that, <laughs> soon they seen that shit a couple weeks ago, they should have started building an ark. They should have started going get and two and two. They got the levees. They talk about one they of the levees. levees yeah, one of the levees breached oh. today, and it's it's so crazy. Like Houston, the fourth largest city, and half of it's underwater. Yep. Yeah. They said I ain't seen. They said pictures like people. Are just, at the uh, nursing home, like old people just sitting yeah. here and shit, can't fuck move. Can't move. Water can't waist walk. high. Waist high, yeah. Man, that shit crazy. Like, I wonder why people don't evacuate in situations like that. It's, it's almost like the Katrina situation. Like, there's always a hurricane, and you never leave. You never leave. And with the Katrina situation, you know, the levees just broke. Like, you, like, yeah, I think they've been having hurricanes forever. Yeah. So it's like. Down well, there, down there in Houston. You, the whole the Gulf area. Coast, yeah, the whole Gulf Coast. Like the uh, the tornadoes will start in Houston and run across the Louisiana. I used to never hear. Only place I used to hear uh, tornadoes is like on the Atlantic coast down there in Florida. All right, Kansas. Like, I hear about tornadoes in Kansas tornadoes, and shit. Yeah. Hurricane and tornado are not the same thing. Nah, they not. You said yeah, you said tornadoes. Yeah, yeah. You should have just slapped shit out of me. Uh, I I practice yeah. not violence, my brother. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I ain't never like I I used to always hear in that Florida area for them hurricanes. Ah yeah, that's now that's Hurricane was, Alley. I, like they they have a whole hurricane season in Florida. Like from Miami on down, like they start boring up around this time. Once once like once they hear the hurricanes coming, cause I hear motherfuckers on Facebook saying the silliest shit, man. Joe Lowstein. You heard that one yet? Oh, uh, we can get into that too. Oh, but man. I'm talking about like a chick gonna post, ah, oh, this is why I hate George Bush, and she had all these different emojis and shit to come. He ain't the president no more. Who? George Bush. Man, look, I'm all the way fucked up today. Yeah. She said she had Trump. Trump. Yeah. I, I'm thinking about Katrina. Nigga. You think about Katrina? I'm stuck with the Kanye. Yeah. But, George yeah. Bush don't care about black people. They said uh, she was bad to my Trump. He did this, he did that. He down in Houston right now. Hold on. This is why this is why come some niggas just shouldn't talk. Yeah. Everything you don't have to jump out and fight every battle. Yeah, you don't. And you have to understand the battles that you do jump out and fight. Um, that's a federal issue. That's not uh, you know. I mean, that's not a federal issue. It, it, he your made local it. government. Your local government is the first line of defense, and then if federal assistance is needed, then you intervene. He, he made a federal issue before. Day before yesterday, before the flood, because he already seen how bad it was going to be. Oh, so he already put so the, he already did. He sure. already put the order in. You know, what I said Red Cross FEMA was already on their way there. It's just they can't they can't sit in Houston and get flooded with everybody else. So they kind of like got to stay a little bit out. Did go in the risk. I mean, how you gonna get somebody on the boat? Your boat underwater? Man, what um, fuck, I was gonna say. What like what 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 do niggas be expecting the president to do? <laughs> like they, I thought man, I thought they uh, nigga gonna come down there with the uh, bullets around him like Rambo and yeah. shit. <laughs> with the fuck paint, the, yeah, right on his face, man. The shoe polish underneath the eyes. And niggas shit. be saying anything like uh, I don't like none of them motherfuckers, but they be like the media induced the hate towards Trump so bad, like they push people that way because niggas Fake don't because because so called black people ain't got no fucking reason to not like Donald Trump. Like, if they say he don't like black people, you around here, white people every day who don't like you, motherfucker. Oh, you know what I'm saying? They hide it well. And just, but they, they yeah. just, they feel like they just gotta get out. Niggas always gotta fight every battle. Niggas feel like they gotta jump out and take every bullet. And case in point is, they was talking about, he talking about he gonna build a wall. He shouldn't be building no wall. I'm like, nigga, when have you ever seen Mexicans advocate for your goofy ass? Oh, they taking all your jobs. Yeah. Like, Any they, part in the uh, Arizona sheriff that was, uh, Fucking the Mexicans up for coming across the Trump G. Cause he doing what the fuck he wanna do. Man, he do his, if you can't respect the nigga doing what the fuck he wanna do, man, I don't know. This is this is a ruling class mentality. Nigga, look, if I got a friend who uh up on some bullshit <laughs> I got a chance to party, Boy. we all gonna party our friend. Uh, normally I don't do this, but uh keep the party going. 
<laughs> turn that water to wine. Hey, what did uh, what was that Sheriff Joe? Yeah, what Sheriff Joe. He was uh, she was fucking up Mexicans. Killing them. Um, that too. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was uh, inhumane. He got charged like human cruelty or some some crazy ass shit. Like and the thing that. is, man, like they do that. That's what they do. Like yeah. that's what these sickos do. They they psych. They, they get this power. They and psycho, they man. They crazy and like yeah. so when they hit the pain street, that's when they could be all appalled. He was like the sheriff of Machete. If yeah. you ever seen that goofy ass, that's what he was doing. Remember they was hunting the Mexican Dodge Johnson. Oh man, so Dodge Johnson was the sheriff of uh, Arizona. They was like hunting down, killing Mexicans and fucking them up. This is basically what Sheriff Joe was doing. And I don't know. Allegedly, <laughs> I mean he's been pardoned, so he oh, don't have no convictions. Hold on, you gotta get pardoned. You have to do so to get pardoned. No, he's now on record no more. I believe, man. Every, listen, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Every time somebody tell me some weird, creepy shit about white people, I believe it. Ah, yeah. If somebody say, gotcha. man, if somebody say, look, nigga, run outside real quick. It's a motherfucking white man out here fucking a mosquito. I'm gonna run out there with a fucking can of off to see if I can save the mosquito. So I'm gonna believe <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? I believe the most crazy shit about white people, nigga. Not because I don't like motherfuckers, just because historically and shit, y'all do, y'all buck break. Y'all yeah. do strange shit, nigga, yeah. for no fuck, for fun. For fun, yeah. For fun, like Dave Spill said, nigga, you can go to sleep, nigga, put his dick on your head and take a picture. T yeah, tea bag. Got tea bag, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah we fighting. We ain't friends. That has had a friend. That's some creepy shit, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, uh, shout out to Houston, man. Um, it's times like this where, like, you, you be thinking about shit in hindsight and, like, all the shit you should have did. Yeah. And said instead of skipping uh, swim class, I was talking about moving to Houston like earlier this year too, like well last.